Hi, this is Chad with NoviSign, and today we're going to go over Android Digital Signage Media Players. Uh, first, what is a media player? A media player is a small form device that would connect to any TV through HDMI. Um, a media player itself is going to be a small form, uh, on average about four inches by four inch by one inch box um, that connects through uh, to the TV through the HDMI and then the internet uh, through Wi-Fi. And basically, once that's connected, the media player itself will um, download the content that you create on um, the cloud-based digital signage software platform. We'll download it, check for updates every minute, download them, and then play them on the TV. Uh, in reference to Android Digital Signage, um, Android Digital Signage has been around for a very, very, very long time. Uh, in its early infancy stage, about, uh, I would say, six, seven, eight, nine years ago, uh, it wasn't the most stable uh, just because it was a new interface. Uh, but now that we're in 2020, um, the stable, the system itself has, has, has really stabilized. And from a um, software standpoint, um, NoviSign's um, Android digital signage app that is available for free on the Play Store um, is actually uh, was probably one of the first um, interfaces that was written natively to run on Android. And this, um, we were the first company um, about eight, nine years ago to release the app publicly. So since then, you know, we've come a long way as well um, with our Android digital signage app. And as a result, um, we have a very, very stable system. Now let's get into um, Android digital signage media players. And uh, we will go over uh, three devices um, that um, we've tested here, seen, and um, we know they work. Um, the first one here is found on amazon.com, the MXQ Pro. Um, this device has a two gig, 16 gig um, for storage, uh, supports 4K, it's got a dual band uh, Wi-Fi, so two and a half, or 2.4 gig slash five gig for Wi-Fi. Um, it's got a quad core uh, um, um, logic uh, processor. From a pricing standpoint, it's going to be as uh, you know as cheap as you can find them, 40 bucks. Um, the nice thing with this device is you can simply download NoviSign's app onto it uh, for free from the Play Store using the included remote. Um, from a performance standpoint, it does run well, very stable. Uh, the only downside to this type of device is it is a consumer grade. Consumer grade, what does that mean? Well. Uh, for starters, the box itself, the chassis, is plastic. With the plastic chassis comes heat. When you've got electronics running, it's going to get warm. When it gets warm, mix that warmth with the plastic, and it could overheat. So from a running, uh, you know, long life standpoint, within 6 to 12 months, you could experience an overheating, power resetting, and just start seeing some performance issues. Uh, but overall, 40 bucks for a device. Uh, to run your digital signage is not bad. Connect it to your TV. Hey, plus, here, look, you get it for free. Not bad. Um, the second device here is going to be Genia Tech. Um, this device itself is a commercial grade unit. Um, it's a four inch by four inch by one inch box. Uh, notice here it's got a solid metal enclosure uh, with vents here on the side. Um, with it being metal, that acts as heat dissipation which is great um, from, from a longevity standpoint. So if you have these boxes, say, running at your restaurant or uh, you know in a corporate setting, five days a week, six days a week, 12 hours a day straight, um, this device is going to handle the heat well, um, especially with the vents on the side that lets the air flow through. Um, also, it does come preloaded with NoviSign's app, um, so that makes it more of a plug-and-play setup. Uh, HDMI cables included with the box and the remote, and there's a, a setup guide that's included as well, which makes it very fast and seamless um, from a from a operational uh, installation um, point of view. Uh, and then the third one here we have the Minix X10. Um, this device is commercial grade as well. Uh, it's a four inch by four inch uh, by three fourths of an inch in depth uh, box. Uh, it's got two gig, sixteen gig, supports four K. Um, again, it is solid metal as well. Um, that is good for the heat dissipation. Uh, the only downside is it doesn't have the vents on the side. But overall, these boxes are stopped. Very, 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 very solid, stable. They just run and run and run. They're designed for 24-7 operation. Uh, price point on this one is $129. 
Um, so from a device standpoint, we'll recap it again here. The MXQ Pro 2020, this device on Amazon is $39.99. You can download the NovaSign app free from the Play Store. Um, second box here is the Geniatech uh, APC39R. That is a commercial grade box. Price point at that is 99 bucks. Comes preloaded with the NovaSign app for plug and play usage. And then the third one here is the Minx X10 Mini. Uh, this one comes in at 129 small form, 24-7 rated, commercial grade, solid metal enclosure. Um, so overall, we've got three solid devices. All of them are very, very, very economical. Um, from an Android app standpoint, you'd simply go to the Play Store on any Android digital signage media player. You type in the Novi sign and you can install it right onto the device itself. Uh, once you have the device connected to your TV, you'd simply log in to your NoviSign app and connect the account to the setup. Once it's connected, um, your content will download and begin playing. A nice thing with NoviSign is all of the content caches locally on the Android Digital Signage Media Player. So if the internet drops, your content will still run. Don't have to worry about blue screens, black screens, or anything like that. Um, all in all, the system, um, you know, NoviSign with Android, very solid, very stable. We were one of the first, if not first, companies to release a native Android app for digital signage um, going on eight, nine years ago. Um, so that's, you know, very stable, dependable interface um, to control your content using Android digital signage media players. Um, from a getting started standpoint, simply go to novisign.com and you can sign up for a free 30-day trial by simply selecting the open account button. There is no trial needed and you can sign up, get it going, test out the software. If you have an existing Android TV box, go ahead and use it. Simply connect the device to your TV through the HDMI, open up the Play Store, search the Novi, search for NoviSign, install it, log into your account. You can start getting content right to your TV uh, with literally a couple of minutes and you're up and running. Um, so if you have any questions, you can send us an email, info at NoviSign.com. You can sign up for a free 30-day trial by hitting the open account button. No credit card is needed. Again, info at novisign.com. Thank you, and we look forward in working with you.